In the morning, thousands of families in the Lakota School District will need to find a new way to class. And tonight, they are dealing with a bus driver strike. Thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm Mike Dardis. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palolo. So union drivers are at an impasse right now with Peterman Bus. That's the company hired out by Lakota Schools. WLWT News slash Tara McGee live now with more on tonight's big vote that's going to impact, boy, thousands and thousands of families in the morning. Hi, Jatera. Yeah, hi there, Mike and Cherie. Keep in mind, this is one of the largest school districts in the region. This decision impacting thousands of students and their families here in the Lakota School District, and it goes into effect immediately. <laughs> Lakota bus drivers fired up after a convincing 94% vote to go on strike. I think that says that, that I have a united work group here that, that feels that that the issues at hand are worth fighting for. Teamsters Local 100 Union President Bill Davis speaking with reporters after the vote that will impact thousands of K-9 through Lakota students and their parents. Every one of my drivers and monitors back here care deeply about the kids that they transport on a daily basis. But at the end of the day, they have families and they have kids as well. Uh, it's gonna suck. Tim and Misty Oldfield have a freshman daughter who takes the bus. I think we're all just scrambling right now, trying to make arrangements, see if we can help one another out. Well, we'll be getting up early and getting her to school and then obviously sitting in line to get her home. The district warned parents about increased traffic during drop off and pickup times and says students won't be marked late or absent if they can't find transportation. The district also says it is assessing its ability to participate in athletics. The district wasn't involved in negotiations. The bus drivers union and Peterman bus company hired by Lakota can't agree on a contract. They disagree over language involving technology and cameras on buses that Davis says could result in staff being video monitored at all times. We're prepared to hold out until we get a good contract and I'm hoping that they'll uh, reconsider what they're calling their last best and final offer. And of course, I reached out to Peterman tonight. I just received a statement minutes ago, that statement reading in part, we remain committed to engaging in constructive negotiations and presenting a compelling employment package in good faith. It seems that the offer is being declined due to a clause in the collective bargaining agreement concerning the monitoring of driver speed and behavior during vehicle operation. It's worth noting that this practice is, a widespread, is widespread across North America and is fundamentally tied to our unwavering commitment to safety. We'll have that full statement for you on WNWT.com. We're live in Evendale tonight. Jatera McGee, WNWT News 5. Hey, Jatera, before you go, of course, no one really knows how long this strike could last, but will bus drivers be paid during the strike? Yeah, I did ask the union president about that. He said drivers will be paid through a strike fund. He also said that during this time, they'll be going without benefits like medical insurance. All right, Jeter McGee, live for us tonight with that update that's going to impact so many families.